start off this video by saying I'm sorry. I've really gotten to a bad habit of when I make a video every fucking Thursday, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna start up, I'm gonna get back to it, you know, I'm gonna get back to the grind, I'm really enjoying making videos. I sure am glad I have all of this time to make videos, and then literally an hour after it's posted, I, I get, like, I, I, I get fucking shit on with my schedule. <laughs> Like, seriously, if I made a list of everything that was keeping me from making videos, I'd, uh, I'd just sound like a whiny bitch, actually. But nonetheless, here we are. New video. Same me. I'm back on my bullshit. Let's get to this. Let's get cooking. Let's, let's get on moving in and flying under YouTube's radar. So you know I, uh, don't lose my channel. Real quick two things before I get into the actual topic of this video. One of the videos I was supposed to have out this week was a video with Knockout Wolf, which was going to be a Fortnite video, kind of a funny moment style of video. It's, it's a lot to go into that really wasn't all that planned, but it's okay because it's still going to be great and I hope that you guys really enjoy it. I'm also going to be having one of those live commentaries I talked about before over Fortnite, so I'll have that out um, whenever it's going to happen. I promise I'm getting better at this. I, 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 I pinky promise. Just put your pinky to the screen and I promise you. Gay! But anyways, that's not the topic of today's video. In today's video, we are talking about something that I'm surprised actually was never fully picked up by the meme community. Like nobody ever talked about it, or at least that I saw. So I think that this is my chance. This is my chance to break out, be original, and talk about something that probably thousands of people already know about anyways. But that is about the wonderful woman, the magical prophet, Opal Covey. <laughs> Now, for many of you who don't know who Opal Covey is, Opal Covey is running for mayor in the city of Toledo, Ohio, and uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure she could run for president and win it at this point. I mean, l I mean, look where we are now. But you may also be asking, why did I call her a prophet when I first introduced her? Well, uh, apparently, according to her, that's what she is. She is a prophetess of God, and she has some divine plan given to her on what would happen to Toledo if she became the mayor. The short and simple version is, is that if Opal Covey is elected mayor of Toledo, then she will tear down all of downtown Toledo, and she will put in a water park resort city thing because apparently that's what God told her to do and if that information alone wasn't enough to prove to you that she is a prophetess of God she also has moments where she will randomly start speaking in tongues which she claims to be God speaking directly through her so she'll just be having a completely relatively normal sentence coming out and then she'll just break into tongue and she'll tell you yeah that was God you know telling us that um uh, I don't know fucking Justin Bieber is gonna become Jesus for any of those who would comment and say, well, why did you talk about where she's from? Why would you say she's from Toledo? Why would you dox her like that? She's been running for mayor for about 10 years now, and she's made national news a quite a few times. So I really don't think it's that big a deal if people find out where this woman is running. And Opal Covey is one of those natural American hidden treasures that you don't really hear much about, but you should know a lot more about. So I do have a collection of videos here to show you just who Opal Covey is and to tell you a little bit more about her because man, this shit's just crazy. <laughs> now there's no way in hell I could start this off without showing you guys what I mean by her talking in tongues. So you know what? I'll show you that full clip right here. Let's just get into this. Machines, God has told me. I, I, I want to uh, before she gets into this. I want to point out how beautiful that mayor sign is. Want a pot of gold? Vote Opal Covey for mayor. A miracle worker. I mean, I mean, she just she's she's such a sweet lady. I mean, I I really don't feel like she'd ever kill somebody, but I I definitely wouldn't trust her with my kids. That heavy destruction, great destruction will come up upon the Shataya. And uh, yes, we here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have introduced the part where I was not shitting when I say that she goes full tongue mode, like when Harry Potter was speaking to the snakes. She does this quite a lot. I'm just letting you guys know that this woman does this all the time at public speaking events. She's even done it off camera a few times, according to people. It, it I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Thank you, Jesus. That was a confirmation. If people don't give me what I earned in 2013 back, and I'm not on that seat in November, then you'll see God coming and visiting the city. 
So, uh, so yeah, um, that kind of cuts itself off, but that was the clip I grabbed. And basically, she was going to say that God was going to come down and destroy Toledo. And uh, that's what we're working with here, people. So uh, let's just move right on into the next video because I don't know how to describe what just happened. But I will say as a kind of a side note, if there is actually something wrong with her that is causing her to have, like, a stroke or whatever it is, then I'm sorry. But this shit's still funny. Now this next video is the longest of the bunch, and this is basically to give you a summary. Some guy is telling her that she's not a prophet, you know, that she's not really a messenger from God, and she was getting pretty worked up when he said that, because, you know, this isn't a meme. She's not baiting. This isn't like low Vicky. She actually thinks that she is a messenger from God and will literally fight people if they tell her otherwise. So be warned, kids. This is what happens when you cross paths with Opal Covey. You tried to destroy me this morning. No, I tried to get you, you to give me details no. on your plan. I can't give you which, every detail. Because you're unable to because you have no plan. So apparently, uh, this guy just wanted to ask her about her plans, you know, what she would do as mayor of Toledo and things like that, you know, which makes perfectly good sense. But uh, according to her, that means he's trying to destroy her. So, you know, a little bit of a jump, a little, little bit, just a little bit. But, you know, that's okay. I'm seeing, I came back, and this word, this word will rebuke you. Okay. I had to blur out their names there for a second, so I'm sorry that that looked a lot more cropped because they did show the people's names on there, but uh, you, you know who Opal is, but I'd rather not dox this guy because he, he's really about to go through some shit. And I don't know what God is going to do. I have no idea what he's going to do either. None of us right. know. But but you are coming up against the works of the Lord. Okay. And you're not accepting it, and you're doing, I am not. You're you're right. re doing retaliation. On My question is, is what the fuck is the guy filming this thinking like I mean I don't know if it's her husband I really don't know if she's married or anything like that so I didn't do that kind of research but um, uh, thank you to the cameraman who filmed this for your brave and valiant services and in, your, uh, in your good book right there it mm -hmm. says that if you don't get elected mayor if you don't get the seat mm -hmm. in November then you are a false prophet it all right at this point he's just kind of fucking with her but it's still funny so I'm just gonna I'm gonna let it keep going because this shit's still funny it's in the book you can look it up well right now and right now, actually, you are a false prophet because you said you were going to get elected before and you haven't been elected. So you are a false prophet, Opal Kobe. And right now, because you have called me a false prophet mm -hmm. to my face. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I probably wouldn't call her anything rude to her face because I feel like her face would probably open up and swallow me whole. I will wipe the dust, the very dust of my feet off against you. That's what Jesus a... told the apostles to do when... Um, yeah, still, he's fucking with her, but I like how she's like, yes, I am, I'm wiping my shoes. I'm gonna wipe my shoes so God comes down and, and he fucks your shit, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe my shoes all over this carpet. No, <laughs> you, and I curse that evil spirit within you, that what you have done to destroy me this morning shall destroy you. And see, here we are again with speaking in tongues, but this time it was a lot more sudden. It wasn't just kind of like, it was more like, bitch, listen to me. Me, this is God talking here right now. I'm gonna tell you what the fuck is going on. I I, I don't know what just happened. Like a rush of energy just hit me, and uh, uh, I I need to take a second. I speak in tongues against you. You are an evil man, and you. That's God speaking against you. A wind away, a wind away. I love this guy. I love this man for just being like, yeah, whatever. A wind away, a wind away. He's just, he's taking this actually really well because I, I, I'd probably get really pissed if she got in my face like this. You're coming up against me. You're coming up against me? Kumbaya. Kumbaya. This man right here. This man is a god. This man needs to be applauded by all. This man needs to be loved and cherished and protected at all costs. This man is a hero. So that's really it as far as the political based videos i mean i have one more here for you but this one really just it doesn't say anything political or about her being a prophet this one's just kind of weird vote for opal 
I mean, that, that, that was it. It was literally just her playing the harmonica for like 30 seconds or so. And, uh, that, that's apparently a campaign ad, but I do want to point out the, uh, the, the face at the end. It literally reminds me of any villain in Cuphead because I, I, I probably couldn't look at it for too long without just fucking dying. Speaking of which, if you, uh, if you want to see me make a video with Cuphead, then, uh, then, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll try and get my hands on it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of fucking broke though. Just, just, I'm just saying. And now we're on to the final video in the Opal Covey saga, and this is one of her just singing. It's it's like the harmonica one, but it's just her singing a song that I have never heard of. And it's in the middle of winter, so it's very nice and pretty. So let's just take a look at how lovely it is. And I literally haven't even started the video, and I I, I mean, I, just, just the the amount of things that I can point out that I, I really shouldn't, I, I, I won't, but t bitch, what the fuck? Hey, Miss Polly, where did Dolly go? Miss Polly, Miss Polly, where did Dolly go? She sounds like Tiny Tim. If any of you guys remember that song from SpongeBob or it was used in Insidious or uh, what, whatever horror movie that was that had it. But yeah, no, she literally sounds exactly like him and I am now legitimately terrified. It is too Halloween-y for this shit. Dolly goes down the road to see her. I, I, I like the background beat of the gooses just, you know, getting louder and louder because I'm pretty sure that this is like a, an, it's an attack call for the gooses to come and fight by her side. I mean, it, it, it only makes sense. I mean, she is, she's a prophetess of God. Now we don't know what is her curio. Is it a cat, a dog, or a bow? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what this song is based on the lyrics, but literally all I could understand is a cat, a dog, or a bow, and, um, I, what? Huh? What are you singing about? Who's the cat? Who's the bow? Is this a metaphor for life? Now we don't know what is a curio, and Miss, uh, uh, Miss Dolly goes down the road. I'm not gonna lie, as I'm playing this, every few seconds when she does that little voice spike, it also spikes in my headphones and my ears slowly begin to bleed. <laughs> Can I stop it here, please? Like, this has, a, this has another 20 seconds and I really don't think that my hearing can handle much more. I'd rather have a shotgun go off right next to my head than have to listen to any more of these voice spikes. <laughs> All right, yep, nope, we're stopping it there. Fuck this shit. Fuck you, Opal Covey. You are never going to get my vote after that shit. My ears are bleeding. I need to go to the hospital. So really, that's it. That's Opal Covey in a nutshell. And I really can't think of a better person to run for mayor than for Opal Covey to win, to succeed after 10 years of hard trying for mayor and not, not winning a single one. Memes aside, though, I do understand that she's a crazy old lady, that she's literally that cat lady that everybody talks about down the street who's just bad shit out of her mind. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta be like, you just, hey, hey, calm down. Just take it easy, dude. And to me, I feel that this is one of those instances because, uh, yeah, no, um, th this bitch is crazy. But who knows? Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm an asshole. Yeah, I'm an asshole. But still, I'm gonna make this video anyways. But all in all, make sure that you vote for Opal Covey whenever it is that election comes around. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please leave a like. It would help out a lot. Comment down below if you have some shit to say. Share this channel if you think somebody else would enjoy the content. Still really trying to hit 200 by the end of the year, so we're going to keep that goal going. And uh, uh, but anything else for the outro? Nope. Nope. Play, play, play the video thing. Do it. Bye. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. <laughs>